As an audience, I think we never know quite where we are with Sir Thomas. It's sort of one minute we love him and the next minute we're kind of questioning him. What was it that drew you to him as a, a character? Why did you want to play him? I think it was exact, that exact thing, that he's, he is, um, he's so complex. Uh, and, and the relationship between the exterior that he presents and the interior life that, he, that is going on is, is, very, is very complex. And I found that fascinating. Um, there's a sort of, there's a, the aspect of being an actor that is about psychological excavation is really a bit that I enjoy. And you realize in the film that he has a darkness and a mystery to him and, and in that there's some guilt and shame. But actually it's about the power of love and he is transformed by the power of love. Um, uh, and I found that very moving. I'm glad you mentioned Love because it is a very romantic film, isn't it? That it is. waltz scene, for instance. Yeah. And, yeah. Could you talk about that aspect of the film and that you know creating that relationship with with Mia as well? Yeah. Well, the waltz was one of the was one of the actually the great pleasures of shooting the film because because there's so much intense sort of fear and terror and in, in towards the end of the film, and we we shot the waltz later in the shoot and we did about about three days. I should say the waltz, by the way, is when you learn about the history of the waltz, people up until whatever the late 19th century had been dancing side by side. So if you asked someone to dance, you would take their hand and you would dance in a couple in a figure of eight or 16. And the Viennese, those rebels, came up with this dance where you don't ask someone to dance and, they, and you're facing them. So you're chest to chest and face to face and you can smell each other's breath and you can feel each other's heat. And in order to not fall over when you're spinning around in circles, you have to look into their eyes. So it actually becomes kind of sexy. Um, or at least I think it's quite sexy, and I think we should bring it back. Ellerdale Hall, creepy and unnerving yes. for us as an audience, but it's, you know, home sweet home, I suppose, for Sir Thomas, really. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how he feels about it, actually. <laughs> Especially that corridor. Yeah. That, maybe not. Well, you know, actually, it's home sweet home for Lucille. She wants nothing, she, all she wants to do is stay at home. She loves the house. The house has become a uh, manifestation of her identity. Thomas's ha relationship with the house is much more interesting uh, or much more complex. He, I think he is crushed almost under the weight of it. It is a, a physical um, manifestation of his inheritance, which is, uh, which is unpleasant um, and oppressive. And how does it benefit you as an actor to be on such a detailed set? I mean, I want to see the film again just so I can pick up every detail. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, I think it was a, it's such a unique opportunity, and especially now, um, I just don't think filmmakers or studios have the resources to, to do this kind of thing. And so to be on a set of, on this scale, it was so beautifully imagined and so fully realized it was a, was a privilege.